today. We are here in Great Bear Vineyard and we're gonna do wine making. So I decided to do the wine making because I really like the movie A Walk in the Clouds. And if you want to know why the title is A Walk in the Clouds, I will show you to you later. I will tour you around first. This block is grown sustainably, that block is grown organically. The only difference between that is this has a tiny amount of herbicide under the, the vines. That one doesn't. And this one uses organic um, products for the most part. Eight out of ten sprays are organic. There are two conventional sprays to prevent more fungal diseases. That's all sprayed organically. The important thing Save him some muscle power later. 
washing your hands. Anyone you want to wash your hands? Like that really quick. The big. Perfect. You watch your step at this. as it's fermenting at more or less the right temperature, so at about 85 Fahrenheit. So it's kept in a cool room. And the other thing we do is what's called the punch down, which Jessica is going to model. And if you think the little grapes float to the top. So we're pushing them down for two reasons. One's to get that carbon dioxide out, put a bit of oxygen into the process. So that's enough, Jessica. So now everyone try, the we can actually move. So that one's got quite soft now, so we'll just so you can get a sensation of the pressure. Oh, no, <laughs> it's, okay, this is nothing like the first few days of the Sorry. These labels, right? Put your other yeah, hand so at the top here. Yeah. Yeah. That's Malbec. There you go. <laughs> All right. And you can see this is Pretty Syrah, so you can see the juice is actually much darker. So Pretty Syrah is sometimes sold by itself. It's used by a lot of winemakers as a blending wine. So you add in, go through the rollers so they juice. So that's the first part of the pressing. They then go in here, and then there's a hydraulic press. We used to have one that we ratcheted down, and it was so romantic. It was but it was an absolute killer on the air. Like, then I looked like Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> um, now it's just, it's, it's done hydraulically. You just put the grapes in here. A lot of it just pours out, as you saw, but I just put the sieve in. So all of that comes out really easily. In fact, we actually pump that out first. And it's only the sort of soggy skins that go in here. So the free run is the graduate. The stuff that we press out of here and we do a gentle press of about one bar and then we do a second press which is to three bars and each one gets much more and more tannic. With the red grapes they actually go really dry, they're almost like dried cranberries and they look like that and they have that sort of very dry texture um, and so you get about um, 150 gallons a ton out of that. Whereas the, the white grapes and the rosés, even after we've pressed it at three bars, and we don't go that high because you don't want the for distinct color profiles, aromas, although on this the, the aromas are still very muted. Um, but you can start to see the early elements of the wine coming through. The importance of the oak barrel is that it's actually an oak barrel that we've used um, many times before, so it doesn't impart an oaky flavour, but it does micro-oxygenation, which is important. It makes it makes go into to barrels, and what we'll do is we'll talk about new oak, like the graduate, the definition of the graduate, so the Cabernet Sauvignon that you just drunk was free run, I haven't shown you the pressing step, but that means there was no pressure put on it, it's just mm. like what we effectively what we strained and you drank, yeah. that is free run. When we put pressure on it and squeeze it out, it gets much more tannic. and mm -hmm. so we have a first press and we have a hard press. It was really good. So the graduate is free run and it's 25% new oak. So this is a new oak barrel. So we'd have one of these and we'd have three barrels that we'd used before that had gone neutral and then just prior to the most amazing aromas in the air. So what they do for a French oak barrel, the wine over two years or ages. <laughs> So everyone's going to have to be really quiet in here. I want you to have to keep 
food, and I won't be able to think, as I said, I didn't get to bed till three in the morning, then I had to wake up at six. Um, so there's something called the angel share. So these barrels, as I said, it's micro-oxygenation. What happens is that the water slowly evaporates through these barrels, which is why you keep it cool and humid in here. Usually the door shut, usually all through this. Of the carbo pad and one out of the gun Oh, okay. I don't know where that is, but I'll oh, well, find it. Is anyone here? Mm. Um, let me get the two roses out okay. and then I'll get the...